Now, in this lesson, we're going to talk about data types. So data types is just a description about the type of data that a variable holds. Um, it is mainly used to ensure that the calculations are done properly. And also, it is used to ensure that the correct amount of uh, size is allocated to a memory location. For example, um, some data types will take more memory than other data types. So we need to ensure that um, we use the correct data types so that um, our program becomes memory efficient. So the first example is integer. So integer will hold any whole number. So any example that can only be a whole number is called an integer. For example, age. Your age is a whole number. You can't say I am 14.5 years old. It's, it has to be 14 or 15. Um, any number, such as uh, whether it's positive or negative, as long as it's a whole number. Um, score, so you can't say Liverpool scored 5.5 um, goals or something like that. It has to be a whole number. Um, apple number, how many apples do you have? And how many siblings do you have? Anything like that, as long as it's a whole number. Next, we have real, which can also be represented by float in Python. So real numbers can have a decimal number. So they can be either a whole number or a decimal. For example, temperature. Temperature can contain a decimal number, so 18.5 degrees, or price, pounds and pence, uh, weight, 7.5 uh, kg, um, or height, or any number that is, um, whether it's a positive or a negative, um, that can be a decimal number. Next we have character. So character is a sing holds a single alphanumeric character. So any symbols, any letters, anything like that would be stored in a character as long as it's a single character. So you can't have more than one character. So for example, if we only have one symbol, that would be a character. Great C. C is one letter, so that's a character. Uh, gender. Male, female, that's one character. Just add the letter M. Initial, B, F, G, H, and so on. All of these are a single letters, so they are character. Then we have Boolean. So Boolean can only hold either true or false. It cannot hold anything else. So either true or false. For example, denied. Is that true or false? Um, access, do you have access to something? True or false? Um, repeat. Do you want to repeat the process? True or false? Um, underweight. Are you underweight? True or false? Uh, or are you overweight? True or false? Anything that can only have um, true or false as an answer, then that would be boolean. And finally, which is the one which is the most important one and the most complicated one, which is string. So strings hold alphanumeric characters. That means it can hold letters or numbers, or a mixture of both. Now, an example of that is name. Name contains letters, so that has to be a string. Team. Team contains letters, that has to be a string. So that's pretty easy. Uh, you can also have postcode. So postcode can contain a mixture of uh, letters and numbers. And then we can have a phone number. Phone number, you might think, oh wait, this has to be an integer. Um, no, the reason why it cannot be an integer is because an integer cannot start with a zero. Any number that starts with a zero or can possibly start with a zero will always be a string of numbers rather than an integer. Because you wouldn't you wouldn't normally say uh, your phone number in one go anyways. Um, it's normally start with a zero. Um, pin code, pin code can start with a zero, so that would also be a string of numbers. Uh, you can have um, bank account number, badge ID number, anything like that that can have a zero would always be a string. Um, now here we have an example of why we use um, data types. So for example if I'm asking for a number, enter a number, and I will display that number times let's say 100. If I run this and type 5, you expect 500. But if I run it, you will see that it typed 500 times. Now, this is because it counts number as a string. So it's like typing the letter A, for example, or hello. 
it just does hello a hundred times. Now this is because Python automatically assumes the input is a string, unless you tell it otherwise. So to tell it that we need the number to be an integer, you would put int, and then you open the parentheses and close one more at the end. And now if I type 5 again, you'll see that I get the correct answer, which is 500. And uh, now normally in Python you can also um, do strings, so you can change int to a string. This will become a string, and if I type 5, it will display 500 times, because it counts as a string. We also have casting. So casting is a definition that you need to understand. Casting is when you change in a variable from one data type to another. For example, in this here code here, we have age. First, we set age to an integer, so we casted age into an integer. Then we casted age into a string. So this is casting. This is when you change in a data type from one to another.